Is the cure for balding finally here? Cosme RNA, hailed by many a hair loss nerds as a potential golden bullet for hair loss. But what is it? How does it work? And should you be using it? Let's find out. So guys, what makes this product so exciting is that it uses a different approach to tackle the root cause of pattern balding or androgenetic alopecia. So if you think of balding as a bucket of water with holes punched in it, and your balding is that water leaking out, well, you could use something like minoxidil that adds water to your bucket. A hair transplant also adds more water to your bucket. But the only thing we know of today that can actually block the holes, also known as treating the root cause of balding, is finasteride. Until now. To understand how this new technology works, let's go back to our hair loss science basics. Testosterone in the body is converted by 5-alpha reductase enzyme to become DHT, which is a more potent androgenic hormone. Now, this DHT interacts with genetically prone follicles, so follicles that have a high expression of the androgen receptor gene. DHT re um, interacts with androgen receptor proteins and forms a complex. Now, this complex promotes the production of TGF beta and DKK1, and both of these are potent inhibitors of hair growth. And that's rarely how hair loss works. So, finasteride, how does it treat this problem and its root cause? Well, it cuts this 5 alpha reductase enzyme which means testosterone can no longer be converted to dihydrotestosterone, which means that this complex can't be formed. The problem with this is that it dramatically lowers an important hormone, the most androgenic form of testosterone in your body. But Cosme RNA is trying to tackle this problem on the other side of the equation. What Cosme RNA does is it uses small interfering RNA molecules to suppress the expression of the genes that are regulating the androgen receptor. To simplify that, pretty much it acts on the hair follicle to have less androgen receptors, therefore less substrate for DHT to interact with. Now this is beautiful because it doesn't reduce anything in your body. It doesn't change any hormone in your body or anything like that. It just protects the hair from DHT. But does it work? Well, there were two small double-blind placebo-controlled trials done by the company itself. And in the first trial, they wanted to establish safety. So what they did is they took 48 males and females and divided them into two groups, placebo and non-placebo group. They didn't, they used a very low concentration, uh, 0.5 milligrams per ml. And they didn't really see any significant hair growth with this concentration, but they did establish that no one had any major adverse effects. The second study they did had 60 male and female participants, but this time they used 10 times the concentration at 5 milligrams per ml applied once per week. And after 24 weeks, this study showed to have the same efficacy as finasteride at 24 weeks, which is about 4% hair growth. Also, there were no reported adverse effects during this trial. So the big question, should you take it? Well, according to these small studies, it does work. And the science does seem sound, but I wouldn't rush into taking this myself and I wouldn't encourage it for any of my patients. And this is why. So as of now, this drug is not approved by any Food and Drug Administration around the world. And they were actually denied safety status by the Food and Drug Administration in Korea. They therefore went to market with this drug and listed it as a cosmeceutical. Now this seems very strange to me for the following reasons. Now guys, there are two drugs on the market today that utilize the small interfering RNA technology that are FDA approved. These drugs are called Givlari and Onpatro and they're used to treat extremely rare conditions quite successfully. But what we also know is that they come with certain side effects. 
like cytotoxicity and massive inflammatory response by triggering of the innate immune system. Now Cosmic RNA has promised to bypass all of this by developing something called a self-assembled micelle inhibitory RNA. I know it's a mouthful, but pretty much what this does is utilize a polyethylene glycol coat that pretty much protects this and gets it delivered to the target tissue. Sounds super high tech and cool, but this is the exact reason why I'm skeptical of this. Because if they did in fact have such revolutionary technologies, well then why did they not get the funding to pass a rigorous and expensive FDA approval process? And even if they didn't want to go and get funding, why did one of the massive drug companies not jump on this and just buy their patent outright? At this, they would have made an instant hundreds of millions of dollars and wouldn't have to go through the hassle of marketing this and selling it as a cosmeceutical. So mainly this, plus the fact that the studies were extremely small and done by the company, makes me extremely skeptical that this is the revolutionary drug that we've been waiting for. But if you want to do it and you want to be a lab rat, go for it. I don't advise that you do. Wait a couple of years at least. For now, the best thing we have is still the last ride. So guys, if you like this type of content, it really takes me a long time. So it really encourages me when I see likes and comments and subscriptions. So if you do like it, just hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll make more of it.